ओके हेलो ऑडिबल राइट यस सो टूडेज डिस्कशन पॉइंट इज दैट फायर बेस दैट इज ऑल्सो वन क्लाउड स्टोरेज वी कैन से दैट so from our react application how we can store how we can authenticate the app through the firebase okay so firebase uh, just let me share my screen my screen is visible right yes this is the link that is console firebase google.com and your project is there so this is one fire in firebase url where we can store our authentication we can store our data fire store and we can de deploy the application we also host build the function fire store everything is there okay so if we required one demo for the fire store like yes so this is the console link the fire is going to look at first link that is there if you want to create one projects right in the firebase then go to add project in the add project section fire base react demo that project name you have to add okay then you can continue enable your authentications and also so that google analytics part you can continue and this is your configuration so you have to create the project it takes some time for creating your project everything the resources are provisioning and you can see on firebase react demo this project is ready we we'll go continue okay? here you can see add an app to get started so currently we are in the web right for the firebase project i am not going to add any ios or android project web project <clears throat> go and check in react dashboard you have to first register your app over here so after registering your app through the use npm that is my package either you can take use npm or you can take script app okay so respectively the code is change between we have to npm install fire with this command you have to install and this initialize this is the configuration key of the application some app key or the domain project id you have to add so this is from the firebase side we have to add the add these things for our configuration right so if we need one project firebase so 
fast you have to create the application. So this is from my React side. I have to create an application. After that, we have required this thing: installing our tools or the Firebase tools. This command you have to add after installing the project, right? It will take some time for installation. After that, this npm install g Firebase tools. It will sync our application to the Firebase, the tools, available tools. Means if I want to see the project list, right? I have added these things. So it will show how many projects are there in the same application. You have also logged in from your console. So these tools we need it after adding the React application in our code base. You can store your projects, you can store your uh, the data and that sync with the Firebase from the React application. Our React package is almost done. 
in just a minute. Second command that is you have to initialize the tools npm install minus g firebase tools. If we add this thing so firebase tools will be added. You can see the package Firebase tools. Now I have to check the Firebase login from our React CLI. So it will authenticate your Firebase application. So I already logged in in that mail. If you are not logged in, then you will get this message. Firebase CLI log successfully. In the first CLI command, you will add and then Firebase CLI login successfully. So I already logged in with one email ID. Any email ID you can take. So first time you have to set. Okay, and you have to check that how many if any project list right currently in my Firebase. So I have created this React dashboard. The project ID, okay. The project number is showing one project I have. Now you have to install Firebase earlier. I've installed Firebase tools now. Firebase to install. my projects it will take some time Is done. If I will go in my code base, my packet to JSON. You can see Firebase. This version is used. Got it. Now we have to add the configuration file, right? Whatever is there. So this up to this thing I have done. I have installed the Firebase. Now we have to add this value in my projects.
You see the Firebase folder. You have to create one file auth dot create. All sorry, config dot case. With the config dot case, I have to import. Firebase from Firebase app. This thing you have to import, and you also import the Firestore if required. Let's do it and. Import these three conditions: Firebase and we have to add our is config.js file. Go there, copy. What I will do firebase dot initialized app. You have to create the object. Okay. Oh yeah, in the config file. This is your application scheme. Checking that what value is coming to the console dot log. Firebase dot app and dot options you can take. It will show that objects are written from the Firebase or not. Okay, so that's why console dot log. And you have to export the forms. That is fire store. We can do firebase dot next port const that storage still will do. Firebase of storage as well. On config file, you have to add. Okay. Now, I have created one project already. In that project, I want to show that if I am login page or login screen, in that login, how can I add the value? So, this is my one project I have already created. And that config.js I already add. Here I will write auth file auth.js for the authentication purpose, and that is the log sign up and login page. That I will show you In the auth.js. How can we retrieve the data? First, you have to import. I miss. So I will run this thing. Local host. Yeah. I have to create. Import. I miss. Sign up. In a page, I will create 
Helsinki. Last name. One last name. I'll pass my application email. password one next one and we have it firebase from the firebase i'll get the response right the firebase dot up so the code of authenticator first firebase dot up you have to create user with email and password this email and password verification i'll create, create user with email and password these all are coming from the Firebase. So you have to install this package, npm install Firebase. And you have to take the authentication. After that, create user with email and password. You have created email and password to the pass. Here. The response. Response you can also confirm dot log. My response or response. Now you have to take one user equal to response, but you get already user and you have to await. user not if you have want to update the profile picture update profile the method update profile and here you have to pass their name display name that should be your dollar and first name dollar sorry dollar add now also you have to create one event function or create Document to pass the user. Create user document is my own function that will write. Go there. You have to create one user function over there. So import your something from config. And from my config, we import those things. What I'll import. Fire store and storage. Two values that I've exported from my config.json. Fire store and storage. You have to add in a user page. Export once. 
create user document create user document user add value from and you will create a reference file store document to the file store document add value from Docker Firestore dot doc to pass the users dollar user dot uid this value you have to pass now you have to create one user object create one user object const user profile this is a unique id so user dot uid email user dot email name that is user dot display name These values are coming from your author.js like user. I will pass the user with the display number. So here I will pass this user. You have to import your create document. Import something from dot user that is your create document you have to add here create user document and that should be create user document yes for the user name display name address that should be not adding anything city it the jeep code on Speciality IP so creating the user object. Now you have to write this object to a fire store. So I'll go there for your next next continued console. So first you have to authenticate here with user. Get started. I am just adding one authentication, but 
uh, is there multiple authentication you can take phone anonymous email and password so email and password authentication i'm taking you can see currently you don't have any user but when you add the login or sign up then one user will automatically create it and from your storage data store object this is okay this is storage storage object and you can get this value the production mode states test mode okay so one bucket will be created automatically so here i will add my user object over here it will take some time okay let's focus on the code you are right to the cloud Firestore as well. What I'll do return Docker if that I have created Docker if it dot set. What I will set this value and write user profile. Okay. So I create document is ready. Then I have to update the user document. So that function also I write update the user document. First I will write these things authentication part. So I will think that first name, last name, full values is there, right? logout function if you are using one application logout is there so this is my logout application logout function export on that is logout return firewall dot path dot every function is there sign out let's call it on login function login my app login my application this function will create export on login I think email and password. You have to add it. This is the login function. You have to add the const. Same thing. Response is equal to avid fire base dot auth and dot earlier first we have created create user with email address right here i will create sign in with email and password there are multiple authentication may the sign in function so as as of now we are using the email and password I will call this method. You have to pass email or your password. Okay. Return raise not user as well response okay login response so logout login so logout i'll call that uh, first of the create my user then my login then my logout this function is there 
and check uh, Firebase user some attempt. Okay, and the user function. Function that user document I'll create. Export this method comes get user document equal to one async function I will call. User. Docker if is equal to Firestore dot doc as user slash toner user dot uid. Return your docker if dot update Firebase user one minute Firebase user. On here, this method I'm not writing in currently. So, or my user, two method I use. And we not edit anything. This block I have to oh, currently profile. I'll change with the line number thirty six. I'll change my part on change. The login page is there, right? But first, I need to sign up. 
So sign up page is there. So if I use this thing, I'll add one password. So in my console log, you can see the objects are coming right that I've used in my auth.js. Sorry, config.js to so Firebase authenticated my application with that value. These values are coming now. This is my first name, last name on sign up. You can take that the value is created at the profile page. Then you will go there. Where I created this thing. Yeah, I think that no, this authentication is not created. One minute. Projects React as both go to settings. A value is change. I am going to create this thing here. This is my project. This value is there. Yeah. The other app I have created already. So any password you can set. Inspect and sign up. Yes, this will not create it. Right? So you can see that post method, whatever you use internally from the Firebase to React, it's authentication operation not allowed. That means something you have error, right? If we we'll go there, authentication page. And we'll refresh so nothing authentication is there right it's not showing so always remember go to sign in method and email and password you have to enable this enable your email and password authentication and save it go to the user now again i'm going to hit same value You can see the next page, the profile picture. That page I have already created. That is coming. You can go. You can go there. It. So you can get the username, right? Whatever user you have created. You can take multiple and when they log out this method. This it is there. I am going to create other user for sign up. Get sign up and respective name and email at this that will come. Also, go there, refresh two users is created right in my authentication. That means I am able to add this user in the Firebase console. Go there in the storage section. Get started. Yeah. 
take some time the storage will soon make the rule you have to set these rules and you just that is so how many story you have to use that file so if i will address update My response object is coming. User details also be created. This is the GCP link. Okay. Add this logic for the document. Upload your image. This function is not written. So export comes. Image. User ID. file progress you want to have to return new promises where you have to resolve reject const file path users dollar user id as profile image that you have to add profile image const file this that coming from the storage dot uh, reference of child and file path file path I'll create and then const 
upload your link, upload your task to the value. File this. What put? On function of the bit. That is your state change. Come on, take one argument snap short. And that will be progress snapshot. If error is there, that will be reject. Error. With the anonymous function, I can resolve the value. Update task. Snapshot. What is? This upload image function. One function you have to leave. This is a download link. Get download link. The bread export forms. Get download URL. And you have to pass the user ID. And const file path. That should be your users slash user ID slash profile image. I need to return to reach dot ref dot drag. I need to add the file part dot get download URL. This value. Well. the profile picture image just in this case. So the image in the URL. Uh, adding a fire store rule. Third case is also added already. Hmm. It's a uh, fire store rule you have to add. Whatever the rules are there. Like from my app, I'm allowing read, write, update, if all permission from my app, okay? And that is a JSON file that is created on that basis. You have to add fire store rules, you have to add storage rules. Two rules you have to add, and that is there inside that storage and functions in, in the code base, everything is there. Two users have authenticated, and you can use that the current graph, the daily active user. If you add more users, the graph will be so everything is monitored from the cloud on the fire store. Any questions from that? Uh, 
हेलो हेलो हाँ हेलो हाय इज इन नी क्वेश्चंस नो 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 देर है फॉर तो यू कैन क्रिएट योर एप्लीकेशन एंड यू हैव टू ऐड योर एप्लीकेशन इन द फाइल बेस ओके 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 आल्सो यू कैन होस्टिंग इन फाइल बेस और होस्टिंग वो आल्सो बी देर यू कैन सी द होस्टिंग राइट तो एप विल बी होस्टेड ऑन द द सर्टेन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस यू हैव टू मेंटेन लाइक दे हैव गिवन द टूल्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी ऐड राइट फाइल बेस टूल्स दिस टूल्स एंड इन द नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू लॉग इन यू हैव टू इनिशिएट दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस थिंग राइट Mm -hmm. and you have to add the deploy deploy the firebase application mm -hmm. this thing you have to add but certain configuration you have to check this thing then then you have to console go to console log your app hosting will be there okay so default they have these application site not found that mean you have to configure then your web application will be shown here this application okay by default mm -hmm. so you can also map your domain custom domain so by default their url is there right they have given one url but you can change your own url also but certain custom domain you have to so this configuration i cannot see because it's a office laptop now mm -hmm. so we cannot see in the demo just i can tell this thing because configuration wise i have to change the authentication login the url and that is not permitted from my office laptop right hmm. otherwise i can show that you know so you, you, you can explore this thing if you have installing three things na this thing like you are install the firebase tools okay hmm. and login and then install this part hmm it will be deployed and one thing is the firebase deploy and only deploy your rules once the rule is changed every time right so you can all firebase deploy you can deploy your application either you can firebase the firebase uh, deploy you can write plus plus only fire store rules that you can say okay for update your rules so your rules must be allow everything right it means allow update read write every application then these rules you have to add here in that storage dot rules section that is also coming from your storage section you just copy paste the rules over here okay okay version rules version 2 okay. ha so the version is whatever the version is showing in your own console there that you have to add over there okay and okay. you can see the bucket the bucket automatically they will put this thing okay okay first rules are to be there so in that rules i am allowing my app that read write update the application right this thing mm -hmm. so i think that is very useful means if you hosted the application in the fire store and one more thing that a config.js js that i have added right you can see so you can create one uh, environment file okay in the in the good practice is that you have create one environment file env file hmm. and that environment file you just put this thing all the values Mm -hmm. otherwise and then process dot environment you have to take this value why because this is that secret key public key is there right for mm -hmm. up and running it is actually process. change on and if you update in the git project that this value will be updated right mm -hmm. so my suggestion is that do not update that environment file okay this is coming from the process dot environment automatically it will take 
from that part because this value don't check in in that git project git ignore this file only where the value is there right this value and you have to take the value from the process.environment and then the value these four values are main okay you can see that firebase.com this is the by default auth domain i think authentication domain that is not the application domain i think that authentication domain Hmm. Here your application will be hosted. If you deploy na, hmm. this application will be hosted over here. Okay. 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 So if possible, I will uh, provide one demo. This hello I've added in the application. But office laptop, that's why the problem might be arise. Okay. So you can try and you can let me know. That is the best thing. Okay. Okay. Add the value. Otherwise, if I possible, I will show one demo for that. Okay. Hmm. How can you update your data or project app or project in the Firebase? That thing. Okay. 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 Thank you, Koshi. Hmm. I think it will help you all the people. Right? Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Bye. Bye.